Whew. Hey heroes, Isaac Zephyr here, and welcome back to Pokemon Conquest. When last we left off, we were counterattacked in Pugilus, going to Terra or Terrera. <clears throat> Sorry. And we managed to fight off everybody except for the Rhyperior with more or less flying colors. That that goddamn freaking digging son of a bitch was a little difficult, but other than we were pretty good. So I made some minor changes to this team, that being that I took the Carnivine out, because I felt like it, and we put in a Trico instead, everyone's a little bit more powerful, and we evolved last, or we transformed last time, so I'm thinking, even though we're 300 below, I know how Rhyperior attacks, so with the guys we have, I'm thinking we should still be able to take them down. Should be in the optimal word. Lady Lee, Shingen uses Ground-type Pokémon. Remember that Electric-type Pokémon will have no effect on Ground-type Pokémon. Don't forget that he has lots of other Pokémon in Arby too. Yes, I know. Let's do this. We're at a massive disadvantage, but... I think we can do this. Lee, I've been waiting for you. Hmm, you look different. Well, well, I do think this battle is going to be fun, don't you, Yukimura? Most definitely. If Lady Lee is our opponent, then I shall give it everything I have. Yes, so shall we begin? Alright, the epic music's in. We only got 20 turns. And it's capture the flags. Okay. I'm feeling Staravia is going to be our best here. Claim all banners. All banners are claimed by the enemy or all allies are defeated. Okay. A tower like this in the middle of the desert doesn't surprise you. This is the tallest building in all of Ranse. Even flying Pokemon would struggle to make it up here. You're welcome to try climbing it if you want, but I can't be held responsible for what might happen. So, does that mean I can't fly up here? That could make things a little more difficult. Alright, let's make an immediate beeline for them banners then. No point rushing quite yet, because I don't have any in reach, even if I do. Okay, and you two... You guys are like my back line. We may lose this. Not since it's banners. He's got a lot of guys who can't hit directly in front of them though, so we can take advantage of that. Courage, increase range and attack. Alright, well, if that's the case, and our abilities changed, let's try this a different way. There's an Eevee that way. Girder, you start coming up this way. Ah, dang it. No, wait, never mind. He's never turned this go. Hmm. Let's avoid the lift for now. Trico doesn't have a lot of health, I realized. <laughs> Shit. He's just gonna be wasted space. Unless I play him really careful. Critical hit. Ah. Okay. Wind gust blue. That makes a difference. 
Okay. Let's get Jigglypuff up there. So we want to claim them and then get down. Okay, and flying Pokemon can't take advantage of it. Shite. Alright then. Well, no one's got any banners yet. I'm gonna need to swap this around because I need to keep very close track of where he is. Okay. So we're good. We can pretty much see everybody. be a bad idea to put Eevee right in the middle of that. Okay. Plan. We're gonna go right for the banners. We've got the opportunity. Let's take it. This Trico is going to be useless. That would be a bad idea. Alright. Break this tree so I can get around easier. I was going to break it with Staravia, but then... I was thinking... A step behind. Okay, Scrafty's up. Shit! Exactly enough to kill him. It's alright. Alright. We're just gonna dance around them. If we can. Let's do the things we have to do first. Claim that banner. Claim that banner. We're gonna double team this guy. Or are we? Maybe better to do it this way, actually. Knock this tea pig away. And who's that? That's that that guy. Shit. Kinda forgot about him. And I was happy that I would have forgotten about him. Let's water gun him. Focusing on offense right now. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Shit! Oh, fuck. All right. Okay, he's got one banner. My army's turn. I get the feeling that wind's gonna gust soon, so let's get down. I don't want to take that damage if I can help it. No, don't enter. Sweet song. We need that health regen. You're gonna wait there. Next. Oh, can you go faster? No, you can't. Ugh. Alright then. Ugh. Alright. Hmm. 
Go no further. You must retreat. Move again. Hello. Um... Okay, let's see that. It's gonna take a little bit of a hit, but that's fine. We can deal with it. Okay. You can't use Rock Wrecker twice in a row. Sweet. Did I misread the situation? Still, the battle is far from over yet. Alright, come on. Blowy wins. Winds of change are not blowing. And that is not a lot of damage. Whoop. Let's get him up there. Significantly raise that attack. Hit him. Ugh. Come on! Alright, that's not good. Ugh. I just gotta take out this Scrafty, because once I do, Celebrate will go off. Ah, oh, the son of a bitch. I think they're gonna focus Girder this turn. Yep. Okay. Things I need to do to win. Jigglypuff needs to survive him. Oh, there's the wind. Okay, no effect on ground type. All right then. This battle is mine. Hey, buddy. Ha! Eat water gun! Yeah. Ha! Suck it! I'm just gonna cock block you, too. Ugh. You just wait on that banner, Jigglypuff. Can't use Rock Rucker twice. You're not even gonna have time to get that dig off, buddy. Okay. He still technically has more power than me. I'm gonna do a few things just to see if maybe I can squeeze a little bit more experience out of this battle. Boop. And you smack. So we lost two people a piece, but oh no, I think uh... no, we lost two people a piece. It was an excellent battle, but Terra Ca Terrera Castle is ours. I knew that whooper guy would come in handy. Fortunately, the Trico didn't come nearly as handy as I thought. Eh, well. He gets the experience of taking a castle. Maybe it'll be enough to level him up or something.
I can recruit the main guy, despite not beating him, and the girl with the Charmander, because I got her with a water gun. Hmm, fine work indeed! You defeated me, Lee. My deepest apologies. If I had just... Forget it, Yukimura. Winning this battle was never my intention. Huh? I was always planning to join Young Lee here. As was I. Wait, wait, what? Whoa, whoa, both? So there you are. I thought you might show up. Anyone strong enough to defeat my nemesis is worthy of my service. From now on, I shall fight for your army, Lee. <gasps> Yay! I don't have to fight both. Lady Lee, this is great news. I've claimed victory. Select the warriors I wish to recruit. You two, I guess. Recruit him. Yep. I'm ready to give it all I've got alongside you. So wait, did he join me or not? I'm confused. <gasps> Whooper! <gasps> Woo! We got something out of this battle. Ah, balls! Oh, that's going to be a massive power-up. Whoa, whoa, now that's a result. Quagsire, I said something about you, you know what I mean? Haha, <laughs> you and I are partners for life. Looks like we're headed for all-out war with Nobunaga for control of Rensei. Indeed, we will face battles more difficult than any we have experienced before. Yeah, but before all that, I've made us something to eat. Go ahead, enjoy. Ah, this does look tasty. How considerate of you. Very well, let's have ourselves a little feast in celebration, shall we? Knowing that the showdown with Nobugaga was not far away, Lee's army resolved to take this fleeting moment to relax and enjoy themselves. Their merriment did not last long, however. The short life of man is nothing compared to the age of this world. It is but a fleeting dream, an illusion. But, brother... Whoa, 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 brother? What is it that you desire? Uh, uh... I desire Lady Lee to find the legendary Pokémon, and bring priests to Ransay. Ha, <laughs> how amusing. I should like to see you try and make that wish come true. Defeat my subordinates and we shall see. Nobunaga will be waiting for you in Dragnor. Did he just speak about himself in third person? I think he did. Um, Lady Lee, I'm sorry I didn't say anything before, but Nobunaga is my brother. That's how I know... That's how I know that he's serious. We have to stop him, Lady Lee. He'll destroy Ransay if we don't. You know, there's actually... It's a, This is the Gen 5 game, so Jigglypuff's not fairy. But it makes their, like, relationship all the more, like, yin and yang that Jigglypuff is fairy in Gen 6 because then he's the dragon guy and she's the fairy. Yeah, you get what I mean. It's alright. We'll stop him. We can't let that happen. That's why I decided to join you, Lady Lee. I know it's going to be tough, but we must battle against the warriors of Nobunaga's army. We'll start with Avia, Viperia, Kragspur, and Yaksha. We can proceed no further until we're able to conquer those four kingdoms. I know I'm not strong, Lady Lee, but I'll give it my all for this cause. Battle's been won, say progress? Oh yeah, hell yeah. And we do apparently have the Psychic Kingdom. With only him. Okay. That makes things interesting. Alright, and he, he counts as done, but we can actually check Elusio for Pokemon. Is there any psychic types on my list? Here. Some ghosts. Let's have to see what's there. I always find the ground to be the easier fight, even though it's technically the higher level. Just because you get type advantage. Proof warrior stats. Go mining for gold. 
got a couple of warriors that we're gonna need at this point. We can't do anything there, but we can go in here. Did the music change? I feel like it did. All right, so we got Cragspur, which is rock, it looks like. Got Avia, flying. Viperia, whoa, 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 Moto Chica, what are you doing there? You son of a bitch. Viperia would be poison. And Yaksha would be dark, so no ice yet, unfortunately. Which is what I really want. So those are the four kingdoms we gotta deal with, and they're pretty much just as strong as any we faced before. Alright, well, I'm gonna do this battle. Because there's another Machop for our Onyx guy. This doesn't promise to be easy. Then again, has it ever? Okay, we gotta keep Onyx really safe, because he doesn't move very fast. And he is weak to fighting. So this is probably going to be one of the harder links to actually get. But hey, Quagsire is awesome. Uh, you might as well take that potion because you've got your 100% link already. You move up. Ah, son of a bitch, I forgot about that trap. And roughly, you get up in there. Actually, we need to lure him closer, so only move that far. Shit! That's gonna hurt. Ah! Suck it! You missed! What the fuck, Machop? What the fuck, Machop? Ow! Alright, that didn't hurt nearly as much as I thought it would. Get him up here, actually. Ah, it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, well. We'll do a good chunk. Ah, we want this guy in the army, because we just got, like, ten extra guy slots. Maybe we'll get IG back. I mean, he's pretty powerful. Not to mention being a guy who can levitate without actually being weak to, uh... Without being weak to rock. Okay, move you there. God damn it. Ow! Fuck you. It. Ow! Alright. That's Link. Let's do this. Perfect! I'll take it. You get behind here. This will be a quick battle. There we go. Zap. Ah. All right, fine. I'll take him out with the bug. But I want to get that Pichu to 50% because that's how you evolve into Pikachu. Yeah, the music definitely changed when we hit this point in the game. 
Alright, so we got Kanamori. Alright, I think that's gonna be it for this episode. I'm gonna try to get uh, some of the other warriors and whatnot as well. What's happening to Charmander? Alright, sure. Even though Charmander's not his perfect link, but hey, I'll take a little bit of extra power. I do like Charmeleon. Well, this is some result. There we go. Machop! You seem different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect link with Machop. All words that not being the other. Yep. Ah. Uh. So they're gonna train a bit. I could have gotten IG back, but eh. I can challenge those warlords. And that's gonna be it. We got quite the power gap to jump through, so till then, this will be Isaac Zephyr signing out. And I will see you all later, heroes.